Hi, this is your host Eddie and this video I'll be showing you how you can track down your hotspots. So whether it's Bobcat Miner, whether it's Nebra, whether it's MXC, whether it's Synchrobit, anything that you ordered and you want to track them and you don't know how to track them, I'll be showing you for each single one of them. So I'm going to have time lapses. So in case you want to, you're buying MXC and you want to just track that down, you don't want to watch the rest, it makes sense. So I'm going to make time lapses for that. And uh, there is at the end, I found a nice troubleshooting website for the Bobcat Miner. It's very, very useful. And I'll be sharing some uncommon factors that can affect the health of your miner right at the end. So uh, let's go into this. And before that, guys, this is video is for educational purposes. It's not by any mean a financial advice. So let's roll into it. video will be covering all the updates for all the miners but I'm gonna start with the long AP because it made such a huge fuss in the market well they issued an apology and uh, they explained what happened so basically what they're saying in this apology that uh, first of all based on the interest they were expecting amount of traffic but the traffic that came to the website were four times bigger so another problem they were anticipating that pots were coming to the website and making purchases so to avoid this they introduced a coupon so they increase the price of the miner and they give you a coupon that you can apply to reduce the price to the 650 so this method failed miserably that's what they said here so many customers failed to notice the coupon though we increased the price last minute all orders completed were at the reduced price of the 650 euro it was impossible to apply the coupon in many cases due to communication issues. The stock, the stock management system couldn't handle the load and as a result did not give an error when there was no stock left, resulting in infinite spinner. So these are the updates. They had issues when they launched and it did not go well. So that's why they're issuing this apology. Uh, the good news here, soon we'll be selling all the remaining stock of long AP1, the normal price without requiring any coupons, with delivery with uh, one day to five weeks. At the same time, we'll be opening pre-orders for Outdoor Professional Hotspot Long AP and our newest edition, our Indoor Hotspot Long AP Lite. So this is the updates here. Uh, also, they have a sneak preview on the Outdoor Hotspot. It looks solid, decent. Uh, there are some issues they're facing in, in the UK and Switzerland and it's regarding the invoicing. So that's what they're saying here. Update for the UK and Swiss buyers. UPS did not even get back to me, but a customer was told that they delayed the shipment because the customer, the customs invoices had invoice on them instead of commercial invoice, but they were generated with their own software. So they're facing, facing some logistic problems here in UK and Switzerland. So that's some of the updates. So they're explaining what happened uh, during the launch, they are telling you that they have new two products coming out. They're going to be open for pre-orders. So this is everything about Long AP. If you're a Bobcat miner and you're wondering when will it be shipped, you can check them in Twitter. The Twitter handle is here, Bobcat IoT. So this is the best place to get informed of the shipments. So you can see here they send them by the date. So if you place your order on this date, now it's shipping. So the next is these dates. So according to this, you can plan ahead, and this is the best place to follow them. Regarding their performance and updates on them, they're actually on track. So they're doing very well. Um, there's nothing to be worried about. They, they just made an announcement that do not panic here. Uh, by the way, uh, if you guys don't know, Bobcat Miner is not used to these kind of logistics. They actually build prototypes for big companies. For example, they built the Xbox for Microsoft. But they build the prototype and then they send it to manufacturers for mass production. That's what they do. They just create the solution, but they don't do the mass production. So you can imagine that they don't have the backgrounds with logistics. They don't have uh, the you know mass production. They're, it's all very new to them. So in terms of quality, I'm sure it's one of the best uh, miners out there. But in terms of logistics, they're not doing so bad. So I give them the credit for that, for being on track. 
Uh, is there any updates on them? There's nothing really to talk about, except I see a lot of people are always asking, where's my Bobcat Miner? When is it coming? So the best place is Twitter. And you can follow them and see which dates you have placed your order and check it next. The latest updates for Nebra. The best place to see the updates is the discord.com. If you guys never heard of it, you just go here, .com. So it's discord.com. And then what you want to do is click on this, explore public servers, search for Helium, then click on the official Helium community, then come down here for Nebra. That's how you get updated. And for the latest messages, you can go to the top right here, pinned messages. These are like the news. So the latest updates are here. The next shipment for beginning of batch two will ship out from them on Tuesday, 22nd of June, awaiting confirmation of quantities. So this is where would you know exactly what's going on with your sh shipments and you know uh, orders. So for here, this represents patch two and some of three indoor and batches one and two and some of three of outdoor. So here's the latest updates is in the Discord. So again, you go to discord.com, look for the Helium, and then join the Nebra. Now for the Rack Wireless by Culchip, uh, you can follow them on Twitter, but I see they're also very active in the Discord. So what are you gonna do? Instead of Nebra here, you're gonna go to Culchip. It's on the Culchip is, so you have to look for your batch name or order number to see where do you fall. So for Iguana, they're already completed. But you have to see if you're in US, Canada, or Europe, of course, and see where is your status. So it's pretty simple. I think they're on track. They're doing very well. Uh, there's no issues like long IAP or any of the other stuff, but they're doing fine. So this is where you spot them. Twitter, they're doing well. And if we check on the Rack Wireless, here I think they're talking about more about like scammers, how to avoid stuff, uh, you know the progress, but in terms of deliveries, that's what people are always asking. When is my hotspot is coming? You're gonna come to Culchip here, and click on the pinned messages, and just compare where's uh, uh, yours with here with this list. It's pretty simple and straightforward. As for the curling hotspots. You're going to come to the Discord as well, and you're going to go to Curlink here and click on the pinned messages. And we can see that the quick update, we are finalizing the software integration. We are working with Helium to perform the audit very soon. We expect to start shipping in July. So um, there isn't much news except they're working on it. And again, this is a big issue. A lot of new... Uh, scammer uh, scammers are just building new websites uh, they're fake so this is uh, make sure to buy it from the official channels so this is just on the side but uh, again you should be expecting shipments to be soon so to get updated follow them here and you should be good as for the Synchropet, as you see you come here in the discord and you click on the pinned messages. They seem to be on track. Um, they seem like they're shipping already. Hey everyone, moving forward, this post will always be pinned at the top with the most recent updates. So this is where you can see where's yours. So um, new highlights, local dashboard, customize everything, statuses, new orders, ship in October, EU orders, you can see here where's yours, where does it fall. Uh, we still have sense cap, See if they have any updates. So no updates yet for SenseCap. So that's pretty it. That's the status of every single hotspot uh, out there. As for the MXC uh, hotspot, the MatchX, is you can track your order through the website. So you go to matchx.io and click track my order. And that's where you fill your, your uh, email and password and you can track your order. Uh, for people that haven't ordered this yet, I think now the delay is I think between six to seven weeks. So if you're just new, you should expect um, instead of two to four weeks, it's now six to eight weeks as of today. So uh, this is about it. They're not very active in the Discord. Like they're active, but there's no pinned messages to relate to, but you can also uh, follow them in the MXC Foundation and Twitter. Uh, that's pretty updated. This is just uh, almost a week ago. 
Um, they have some news and they have a YouTube channel as well for you to follow. So that's pretty it. That's all of the you know hotspots that uh, we have. So I found this nice uh, website called nowwitness.org. It's for troubleshooting the Bobcat Miner, basically. Uh, it's a reference for you to come here and just see what's the problem. So if you have network issues, you check this um, this method. If you have antenna problems, they cover it as well. They have had problems with witnesses, it's covered. So according to whatever problem you're facing, I should have your answers here. Uh, one thing that you just have to pay attention about really is network issues. These are methods. They're, they're giving you three methods of how to resolve this issue. So, however, you should only choose one of the three options above. I don't know why they did not put this in the beginning, but uh, I just wanted to share this with you because it might be, um, you know, you're going to do first and then second, and you try the third one, and then they tell you, hey, you should only choose one. So I thought I'll bring that to your attention. This, this way you don't do all three of them. Another tip, guys, that I can add to this, um, because they are using the RF signal, all these hotspots, make sure that your glass is not double glazed. It will affect its power if it's not even tinted. So if there's tint, it will affect the performance of your hotspot. Another thing, even the mesh, you know, the, the whatever that you put, uh, you know, for protecting from mosquitoes and stuff, the mesh. Well, try to put your hotspot somewhere else. So no tinted glass, no double glazed, no soundproof. It will destroy your, it's not destroy, but it will make it really weak. So if you have any of these, try to avoid them as much as you can. Um, I think this is it for this video. Uh, we covered everything that I think it's uh, all updates and, uh, uh, you know, deliveries and the troubleshooting. Again, if you enjoyed the value here, hit the subscribe button and um, follow for more. Thank you.